Welcome everyone, I am Praveen, an Associate Database Consultant with MyDBOps and today I am going to talk about what's new in MariaDB 10.6. My core interest is with open source database technology. I am an Oracle certified DBA with 3 years of experience. I have worked in high volume of uh, data in both uh, on-prem as well as in cloud. I am a tech speaker and active blogger as well. Here is the quick brief about um, MyDBOps. Founded in 2016, we served to uh, top open source uh, databases for 500 plus customers. We are a uh, 70 plus DBA team certified in both MySQL and AWS. Proud to claim that uh, we are AWS partner and PCA certified organization. We provide two major services. Managed database services and consulting services that are mainly focused on MySQL, MariaDB, MongoDB, and Postgres, both in on prem as well as in cloud. The consulting team, as the name suggests, uh, it will provide the consultation to the client and also to help, in the, uh, help to address the uh, databases issue. Whereas the managed database team ensures the smooth and stability um, by uh, providing the support around the clocks to all of our customers. Here are some of our core customers among the 500 plus that we are supporting across the globe. Without any delay, let's uh, get into uh, today's session. MariaDB plays a good role when it comes into the bug faces and also providing these uh, support and the uh, performance improvement as well as. We will see about what's new in MariaDB 10.6, what are the variables added and removed for better performance, bug fixes as well. MariaDB release. <coughs> in MariaDB version 10.6, um, uh, we are going to see about, uh, but in uh, MariaDB uh, version uh, 10, we can see there are frequent uh, releases uh, that has been uh, made to ensure the uh, tools uh, stability by fixing the bug as well as the um, adding the features for the better performance. This is the timeline of uh, version 10 releases. Mo moving on to the uh, main topic. What's new in MariaDB uh, 10.6 and the uh, named features of it? The uh, named diffusers in MariaDB uh, 10.6 are uh, Atomic DDL, uh, Skip Lock, SQL Offset and uh, Fetch Support, Ignored Index, Syschema, uh, and um, InnoDB Improvement, Replica or Galera Improvement as well. We will review uh, each one of them in the upcoming slides. Um, Atomic DDL. So, Atomic DDL is uh, in, uh, introduced to uh, make sure uh, the consistency of the uh, server even after uh, the server got crashed while performing any of the um, DDL. So hence we are uh, safe even after the uh, server crash. Um, it works fine with uh, rename table, drop table, alter table. It supports for uh, all of all types of engine. Uh, but we need to make sure that uh, there is uh, no temporary tables um, on the disk during the time of uh, crash. So this type of uh, consistency is achieved by uh, tracking the changes um, uh, occurring in the uh, DB uh, by uh, storing a log called uh, DDL recovery uh, log. Uh, by default, it will be uh, present in the uh, data directory. But uh, it is uh, possible to change the location of it uh, based on our uh, convenience uh, by mentioning it in um, log uh, DDL uh, recovery. I have created the uh, same scenario in my uh, test server and I have uh, tested it. You can see uh, I am performing the alter to add an uh, index for the table. The same uh, metadata is uh, stored in uh, DDL recovery logs which holds the um, information about the table name, data and place name and the uh, DDL uh, statement uh, uh, which, is, uh, which has been executed. Uh, only if the alter is completed, uh, it will make the entry in the uh, pin log, otherwise it will be uh, get reversed. 
when the uh, server restarts, uh, the DDL um, recovery will uh, have a uh, copy file named uh, DDL uh, recovery hyphen backup dot log, uh, which helps us to identify the cause uh, even when the uh, recovery process fails. Now, moving on to the uh, next up, um, skip logged and then over. Uh, this feature is already available in uh, MySQL 8.0. Um, we should uh, take care of the uh, locking in the table um, uh, to ma make sure everything uh, goes uh, fine and uh, no other processes uh, getting affected uh, because of uh, the locking for the uh, locking in the table. Uh, because um, if a locking is accurate on a hot table or the high concurrent table, uh, it will uh, affect the um, other uh, queries as well as. Uh, it will cause the issues. So uh, we should uh, start uh, preventing uh, uh, that uh, instead of uh, getting a table lock for, uh, for a time while. So uh, we can uh, uh, use the uh, skip log and uh, no wait. Um, that's, uh, that is the future in MariaDB uh, 10.6. So uh, it will uh, prevent the unwanted, unwanted uh, locking to the uh, table. In this log, we can see in transaction uh, 1, I have fired a select for update query. In transaction 2, I am trying to update the uh, same row, uh, which is leading to uh, lock and um, query failed uh, due to lock wait timeout error. Uh, it is not a suggestible uh, one uh, because uh, when a locking is occurring for a table, it will uh, affect the concurrent uh, traffic as well. Instead of causing a lock to the table, we can use a skip lock along the select for update query. So the concurrent uh, transaction will not be uh, get affected uh, due to this. And also we can uh, use a no wait uh, option uh, to uh, select to share the immediate result instead of uh, um, waiting uh, until the lock wait uh, time exceeds. SQL offset and uh, face support. It is similar to the uh, future available in um, uh, MySQL, the limit. Offset uh, is used to uh, mention how many uh, rows has to be uh, skipped uh, while displaying the uh, uh, result. Uh, whereas uh, fetch will determine how many rows need to be uh, printed. But uh, with, uh, the, uh, with, uh, with ties, uh, need to be used only with the uh, order by condition. Uh, otherwise, uh, it is uh, it will uh, throw an uh, error because it is a supporter only along with the uh, order by. You can see from the uh, uh, sample, I have ignored the first two rows and fetched only the uh, last two rows using the uh, offset. Then uh, on the second one, I have uh, fetched only the uh, two rows after skipping uh, two rows by uh, using the uh, fetch. Ignored index. Uh, it is uh, same as the uh, yeah, invisible index feature available in uh, MySQL. By using this uh, feature, uh, we can uh, make um, make the index as uh, invisible to the uh, optimizer. So optimizer won't uh, consider this uh, index. So it will be better instead of uh, dropping the index uh, permanently. It is a uh, better solution. So and also before uh, dropping any of the index, we should uh, make sure that uh, uh, the uh, any other query is not uh, using that uh, index for, uh, because uh, yeah, if any concurrent uh, query is using that index and it, uh, it has been uh, dropped, means uh, it will uh, go for the uh, full table scan and it leads to the performance degradation. So um, if if this kind of scenario is occurred for the uh, larger table, then um, it's it's leads to the um, so much of issues uh, because uh, if just consider the uh, production time uh, and yeah, the index has been uh, dropped uh, due to the uh, concurrent uh, uh, query firing in the uh, table uh, it will go for the uh, full table scan uh, since uh, no index is uh, there for the uh, performance improvement so um, uh, so only it is suggestible to go with the uh, ignored index or uh, instead of uh, permanently uh, dropping the index. We can uh, make the index as ignored by altering the table. 
since it is a um, uh, metadata change it won't uh, take that when we um, make the index as uh, i know the optimizer uh, won't able to see it. Uh, from this example we can see that uh, i can ignore the uh, i have ignored the uh, index uh, now the table is uh, going for the full table scan so previously it uh, the index is used for that query and the uh, uh, number of uh, rows is uh, scanning is less but um, now uh, after ignore, uh, ignoring the optimizer is considering there is uh, no index for that column and it is uh, going for the uh, complete uh, full table scan system and uh, performance schema so uh, now sys schema is uh, available in uh, mariadb from uh, 10.6 um, in um, mariadb uh, 10.5 uh, only the performance schema was adapted uh, now in uh, mariadb uh, 10.6 uh, sys schema is also available uh, the sys schema is uh, like a flavor or a layer for the performance schema to uh, display the output as a more optimized uh, one and uh, in user uh, uh, friendly and also it will be uh, more useful when going for the uh, debugging or any troubleshooting uh, of an issue along with the um, system uh, replication instrument is also available in mariadb 10.6 uh, the this will be more useful when uh, debugging uh, any uh, replication uh, related issue and also it will be more helpful uh, when a uh, parallel uh, replication is um, enabled uh, yeah, yeah, because it will be um, uh, helpful to find out how efficiency uh, the parallel thread is getting utilized and what are the queries uh, getting uh, utilized uh, by the uh, threads in ODB improvement so uh, there are many major changes in the NODB in um, uh, MariaDB 10.6. Uh, the uh, first one is uh, faster the uh, data loading to the new table. So it is uh, achieved by uh, having a single uh, undo log uh, instead of having uh, two. Uh, because um, uh, instead of uh, waiting on the uh, rotation, um, uh, by uh, providing a single undo log file, uh, the uh, performance has been uh, improved for the better uh, data loading and also faster. But uh, for a Barcode file format, until this uh, version, it is supported both uh, dynamic and the uh, compressed, and also um, uh, uh, dynamic and uh, compressed in ODB row format. Uh, but uh, that uh, compression is also uh, now achievable in um, OS level itself by having um, EZFS uh, file formats. So um, now um, uh, MariaDB make the uh, compressed row format as uh, uh, read only by default. So instead of um, fetching the uh, temporary table for every checkpoint in buffer pool, now the buffer pool will uh, flush the uh, temporary uh, tables only if uh, new pages need to be uh, created instead of uh, flushing at the each checkpoint. Um, below are the uh, list of uh, deprecated uh, few lists. Uh, I have uh, shared the complete list in the upcoming slides. Um, replication and uh, gallery improvement. So um, nowadays, um, cloud-based services also uh, plays a major role uh, in uh, RDBMS. Uh, so while uh, configuring uh, external uh, rep uh, replication between the cloud as well as the on-prem, uh, we need to mention the uh, complete endpoint uh, for in the master course. So um, now the MariaDB has uh, increased the total character of the uh, character length of the master course to uh, 255. Um, and also uh, the expiry uh, log is now available in uh, uh, seconds instead of uh, days. Uh, previously it was expired log days, uh, it will represent the uh, number of uh, days uh, for the log retention. Now it is um, uh, converted into uh, seconds. In Galera, uh, WSRP uh, grab mode uh, is uh, enabled. Uh, that's mean uh, it is same as the uh, uh, feature in uh, PXC. Um, it is uh, used uh, used to make sure uh, the strict mode among the um, cluster 
for the uh, consistency. Uh, that uh, which means uh, whether the primary keys need to be uh, uh, is need to be as a mandatory one for the tables uh, in the, among the clusters, or whether my SAM table is need to be replicated among the uh, clusters or not. So uh, these types of uh, stick mode that we can um, uh, mention it uh, in WS uh, or EP mode. Then I'm um, uh, TokyDB and uh, Cassandra. Um, has been uh, uh, deprecated in uh, MariaDB 10.6. Since uh, there is uh, no further improvement in uh, uh, Cassandra, and also TokuDB is uh, getting uh, replaced with, uh, by uh, RocksDB. So, as I uh, mentioned earlier, uh, below the uh, list of uh, InnoDB deprecated uh, variables, so it, it is a huge list. So, uh, we will uh, see about the bug fixes uh, made in the uh, latest version. Uh, first one, uh, audit plugin. Um, uh, it is not the um, uh, complete bug uh, fixes. Uh, these are the uh, the named one and the few that I have worked uh, So um, uh, audit plugin. In a previous version, the uh, drop procedure and the uh, create procedure won't be get uh, uh, stored stored or logged in the uh, audit log. Uh, but uh, it is uh, uh, fixed from this uh, MariaDB ten point six. In ODB. Uh, for a higher concurrency uh, workload, if the uh, buffer pool and the log file is uh, smaller, means it will uh, force for a frequent um, uh, checkpoint, uh, which make the system uh, stall. But it is uh, fixed from this uh, version. Uh, then uh, replication uh, while well, uh, performing uh, any of the XA transaction in the um, uh, master, uh, the, uh, this may cause the uh, timeout in the uh, replication. Uh, thread uh, because uh, when uh, performing uh, any of the uh, exit transaction in the uh, most it will uh, produce a gap lock uh, which uh, leads to the uh, replication breakage but it is uh, fix, uh, fixed from this uh, version this all um, all I have for uh, today's uh, session about um, MariaDB 10.6 uh, uh, please uh, let me know if you have uh, any uh, queries I'm happy to clear out that. Thanks, everyone.